Hello! Welcome back to Markers and Monsters for Day 12 of Drawloween. Wow! Can you believe it? I sure can't. Anyway, today's theme is I've got a hunchback. So uh, what am I doing? I'm drawing one of my favorite hunchbacks from fiction. Yep, if you can't tell already, it's Marty Fellman as Igor from Young Frankenstein. Yeah, love Young Frankenstein. I'm a huge fan. I, you know, I love pretty much anything that uh, like Gene Wilder and... Uh, Mel Brooks did Blazing Saddles is a good one. I even like some of Mel Brooks's uh you know older stuff that you know I know a lot of people don't uh give a ton of uh lip to but like um uh Dracula Dead and Loving It, Robin Hood Men in Tights, it, it's it's all good. But uh yeah, Young Frankenstein I think works so well because it's such a great um I don't know, parody. It, it's such a great like homage to the Universal horror movies. They get the tone down perfectly. You know, they have that humorous tone, of course, but just like the way the sets look and the lighting and all that kind of stuff, it it works so perfectly in the movie. And uh, plus, it's it's just hilarious. Marty Feldman as uh, Igor here, uh, incredible. Like what uh, what a performer. What a you know, amazing. Uh, some of the funniest jokes and stuff, and it, it's. I love Young Frankenstein because it's got a range of humor in it. It's got some just really dumb, like, cheap humor, which is, is fun and some, like, slapsticky kind of stuff. But it's also got some, like, really uh, smart stuff and things that are humorous, like, you know, mainly if you're a Universal Monster fan. And so it works on, uh, works on lots of levels. Like, uh, it's got layers to it, like, like an onion or, or a parfait. Um, it's pretty neat like that. But yeah, with this drawing, um, I just wanted to keep uh, Igor here kind of cartoony rather than like a, a direct um, like copy of his face or anything like that. I just kind of kept it almost like a caricature, like real kind of just goofy and funny. Um, now I've done uh, Marty Feldman as Igor in like a, a pencil drawing, and that was more on the like... Uh, super realistic side. So um, I'll throw some links down in the description there. You know, it's on my website. You guys can check that out there if you're interested in seeing that. It's, it's a portrait. Um, but this was just a lot of fun just to keep it kind of light and soft and whimsical. And I also wanted to go with that uh, gray monotone and then keep that green popping out for his little brain jar. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend you go and, and watch that like right now. Just pause this video and go watch Young Frankenstein. You know what, even if you've seen Young Frankenstein, I don't mind if you want to just pause this video and go watch Young Frankenstein. It's cool. I'll be here when you get back. But, uh, yeah, the little brain jar there in the movie, um, he goes to, you know, steal a brain, and um, he finds one that's uh, not quite uh, the best brain to be used. I, you know, I don't want to give too much away. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, so... He's got this uh, brain here and his little walking stick cane down at the bottom there. You know, walk this way. So, yeah, this was just, uh, like I said, fun to do and just kind of keeping it light and, and stuff like that. And uh, using the gray tones, again, these are warm grays. I, I use those a lot since I have the uh, full set. I don't have a full set of cool grays or neutral grays yet. So hopefully they'll be coming soon. But um, it just gives a nice you know, texture to it, and kind of like if you've seen the video where I do Plan 9 from Outer Space, like all in that uh, gray tone, I don't know, I think it gives a, a really nice look that really pops out, and just adding that one complement color, that one green color, it just kind of pops it out, I don't know, I think it looks really cool. But uh, yeah, the inking's going along here really well, and uh, it's making me just really want to go and watch Young Frankenstein. So I think after I'm done recording this, huh, I might throw that on while I'm doing some more artwork. I've seen it so many times already, but uh, that's okay. I could, that's one of those movies that I could watch again and again and again, and that's really good. I find that uh, the best kind of uh, comedies and homages and stuff like that are, are the ones where people have a love for the source material. And you can really tell that like Mel Brooks and Gene Wilder have a, a great love for the universe horror movies. And I think that really shows in the film. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much. All right, let's add in a couple highlights here to make the glass look classy and in the eyes. Let's take a look at the scan. Yeah, that's cool. This was a lot of fun to do. And, uh, I love me some young Frankenstein. So, hey guys, thanks again for joining me. All my social media stuff is up there. Uh, please check me out, and um, that's it.
we'll see you next time on Markers and Monsters. Bye!